guys, my name is Talia. If this is your first time here, today I'm going to show you guys my children who are part human, part kitty cat. I do have to say, before I owned kittens, I hated cats. Well, before I began living with Olivia, who is my mom's cat, I hated cats. I Because my past experiences with cats were just absolute shit. But now that I have my own, I love my cats and my kids. I mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you don't already know, I have three cats. Um, Klaus from Vampire Diaries, if you're a fan. Um, Fendi and Jinxie. So let me tell you a little bit about Klaus. Klaus was adopted by David about a year and a half ago. Um, and when David and I moved in together, he came too, which was totally fine with me. He doesn't really like vibe with me too well. Um, sometimes we... He sometimes he likes to sit on me when he's hungry, but that's really the only time he interacts with me because I'm the one that feeds them in the morning and no, David feeds them at night um, twice a week now that I'm in school, but yeah, usually I'm the one that, that feeds them morning and night. So he's a little bit more mature, uh, is the eldest of the clan, and he is kind of just to himself, to be honest with you. He's a little bit more uncomfortable with other humans, and when he first met Fendi, he was not feeling her. They had to, obviously, I mean, he's lived with multiple cats before. He's lived with two cats before that were also younger than him. So he eventually adjusted. He's lived with other cats in the past. So it's not like it was unusual for him. I'm so sorry with all the background noise. It's a snow day and there are snow plows every like 10 freaking minutes. So I'm sorry. What else? Yeah, that's pretty much it about Klaus. He's been, this is his second home. So I feel like he's pretty, he's adjusted pretty well. Like, I mean, like this is the second like place he's lived in. Um, David adopted, adopted, a little, huh? David adopted him pretty young as well. I think probably around six months, four to six months as well. Um, and yeah, so that's Klaus. And let me get him so you guys can meet him. He's sitting in a basket right now. So I'm just going to try to bring the whole basket with me. Klausy, bouncy. Okay. So this is Klaus. <laughs> He's sitting in our underwear basket, clean underwear basket. Um, let's see if he allows me to carry him. Do you want to say hi? Hmm? I feel bad. I don't want to take him out. But this is what he looks like. <laughs> in case anyone is wondering, this is Klaus. Okay, now he's going to get out, maybe? No? Okay. I'm just going to set him here then. So that's Klaus. He loves boxes and baskets and such. Um, and again, I, like I said, he just minds his own business. I don't know. He can't be bothered, can you? Hmm? He's got pretty green eyes. And Jinxie's taking a shit. <laughs> and it's gonna stink. I think I'm gonna stop feeding him wet food. Maybe just once a day instead of twice a day, because wet food, kitten wet food, really, oh God. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Fendi because she's not occupied, unlike Jinxie. So a little bit about Fendi. I adopted her uh, a couple months ago. She's a calico, and I found her at the Petco on Route 50. They do cat adoptions there, and um, they do partnerships with a lot of local adoption agencies, and I got Fendi from the Lost Dog, Lost Cat adoption whatever. Um, and I saw her, she's quite the story. So I saw her on a Thursday or no, a Wednesday night when we were getting cat food for Olivia, who is my mom's cat. And I saw her and I was like, oh my God, she has to come home with me. I immediately was like, she's mine. She has to be mine. So I tried to adopt her that night. And unfortunately the store manager wasn't there. So they couldn't process the adoption. And they told me to come back the next Saturday morning to adopt her because Lost Dog and um, Lost Cat Adoption Agency, they come every Saturday morning, excuse me, they come every Saturday morning from like, excuse me, burp, 12 to like 3 or something like that. And I prayed to God she was there still, like, she was so cute. She, her and her sister looked pretty much exactly the same. And when I first saw them, I was like, oh no, I'm going to have to take both of them. And if I do, I really can't afford that. So, Klaus, excuse me, excuse me. I was like, I really can't afford that. I don't think I can do it. Then when I got there on Saturday, 
they were separated. So I was like, hmm. So they found out that her and her sister didn't get along very well at all. So it was totally fine if they were adopted separately. Thank God. But um, she was the one I fell in love with. Her name was Callie. But Fendi just fits her sassiness so much better. And I named her Fendi because, well, that was like the first name that came into my mind when I laid eyes on her. I was like, oh my god, she looks like Fendi. Because of her color, she looks like a designer bag, you know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd be the type of person to name, to name my cat after a designer bag, but here I am. Or like a designer brand. But yeah, anyway. Fendi is a bit sassy. She likes to jump everywhere. She's very adventurous. She's the one that likes to claw on our, on our clothes. So you see my closet back here. She claws her, her paws right here on the clothes. And she makes her way up onto the shelf and just like walks around. And she even gets to the top shelf. Some way, somehow, I don't know how she does it. But she manages to figure it out. And she likes to jump on the table. And she likes to jump at wherever Klaus goes, she tries to go. When she was a little younger, I mean, not that much younger, but just a few weeks ago, when she couldn't, she didn't really have the strength to carry her body weight, she tried to jump up on the, on their kitchen sink, and it was hilarious. And then, now she kind of, she can do it, which is kind of frustrating. Now we can't leave anything on the counters at all. When <laughs> Jinx tried to do it, and oh my god, he is, he is fat, okay? And it was hilarious. Watching him try to do what Fendi managed to do was really funny. Friend, it's just me and her in this household. She's my sassy little girlfriend. And the rest are dudes, so we gotta stick together, you know? And Jinxie, as I was saying, was a little fat. He's three pounds heavier than Fendi, and they're the same age. And I know three pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but when you put it into a perspective of like a cat, like weight, Three pounds heavier is a lot if they're the same exact age. I think Jinx is 7.3 pounds and Fendi is like 4.7, 4.78 or something like that. Or something in that range, I don't know. But Jinx is definitely heavier than Fendi, I can promise you that. You can see the difference, you can feel the difference when you carry them. And Jinx, okay, so if you don't follow me on Instagram... <laughs> I did a little story of how Jinx likes to eat, and man, this boy can eat, and I swear he acts like I don't feed him. Basically, when I feed them, Jinx finishes his food before Fendi and Klaus can finish their food, and Klaus is older than Jinx by a whole year. When Fendi's halfway through, he's done. Like, no food to be found. And he goes into Fendi's bowl and tries to eat her food, so what I have to do is carry him into the closet, lock him in there until Fendi and Klaus are done eating their meal. He's a fat ass. And he's very playful. He's the most playful of all three of them, I would say. He's the one that starts the wrestling matches. He's the one that like, hey, I'm bored, play with me. He's the one that plays with the cat scratcher the most. And he loves the laser so much. Like it's like he's on crap whenever he's playing with the laser. Then he's kind of just like <laughs> and then Klaus is just like Okay, I'll play for a little bit, but I'm not stupid. I know that's in your hands. Kind of, dude, that's how his attitude is now. He hates the laser. Sometimes it pisses him off when, like, we play with it too much in front of him because he's like, I can't get it. There's no way I can catch it. I already know, so stop fucking with me. That's how he kind of feels towards the laser. But Jinx, oh my god, you guys. I wish I recorded what happened last night. I'm sorry, my nose is running. I'm just gonna wipe it. Last night, David was playing with the laser with Fendi and Jinx. And this boy, so David runs it from the ground up to our bed and then up to the wall right here. And Jinx is losing his shit. So he tries to jump to like catch the laser like halfway up the ceiling. And as he leaps forward, he falls head first in between the bed frame and the wall. I was dying. All you saw was his legs just go whoop. It was so funny. But then I was like, holy shit, Jinx, are you okay? And he comes out from under the bed and continues to chase the laser. So, I guess he was totally fine. But now that I'm talking all this crap about him, let me grab him real quick. He's laying on the ground. He just he just flipped over for a belly rub. But this is Jinxy, and he's so adorable. I would say he's the most, like, photogenic. His face is just so cute. And just innocent and like got puppy dog ollies, don't you? Yeah. I can't believe I'm talking like cats like this, but here I am. Um, and Jinxie is, again, the most playful. 
but he's got some poopy issues and oh man it's been quite a journey with their health especially with the two babies um i i know like from what i've read and from what i've been told kittens are really prone to a lot of like pesticides and diseases and stuff like that so they've been having some digestive issues and i'm trying to help them get over it um i think they're getting a little bit better but i might have to change the food but that's a whole other topic to worry about but yeah this is jinx and he's super playful and super cuddly and very fat <laughs> oh my god my underwear is just hanging out over there <laughs> it's clean i promise um those are all my kittens and if you haven't already please make sure you hit subscribe down below hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time i upload and please comment all your cat stories below as well if you want to share a little bit about your babies i would love to hear about them and if you haven't already please follow me on instagram twitter and facebook i'll link everything below as well and that's pretty much it oh and i will also link down fendi's instagram i think i'm gonna make one for um Jinxie too and Klaus, but having to manage three accounts is a little, little, little much, so I might mesh all of them together. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!